I know we're just probably heading, but please, everybody, this is for anyone who is a little bit sensitive to this. Feel free to for close out the video for now, and then we can come over and skip to another part where we, all this is over, or skip further onto the video. So there will be probably some talk, which I think I know what's gonna happen, but because I know this is a serious topic, and I really think people should like. I don't want people to be stressed out about it. Hello everybody and welcome back to another video of Doki Doki Literature Club Plus. We are back from after we last left, we're last off. off. We found that Siori had some sort of depression, um, she wasn't feeling well and it's very unusual compared to her normal ha go happy-go-lucky behavior. So, right now we, we were, while she was gone, we the club mate decided to, uh, Divide into different roles, and I was gonna I'm gonna be helping Yuri, and also we're gonna be going back to also help Natsuki with her roles of making cupcakes. But we're gonna be helping Yuri today with decorations, so I'm excited to see what happens. So let's get right on it. It's already Sunday. I've been getting increasingly anxious about Yuri's upcoming visit. I keep telling myself there's no reason to be nervous, but it doesn't help much. Yuri is clearly an introvert and is also an intimate in person in general. There's no doubt that she'll open up with a little bit of a little bit when she's when it's just the two of us. Meanwhile, we've been texting occasionally. She was extremely apprehensive at first, but it was wasn't long before I was already lear learning about her, uh, more, learning more about her. But putting Yuri aside, I haven't heard a thing from Siori since she left the club earlier, uh, early the other day. It's not like we text each other all the other like it's not like we text each other all the time or anything. But I've been worried about her ever and been worried about her in the back of my mind. Between what Siori said and what Monica said, is it really okay for me to put Siori's feelings aside when she might need me? I decide to visit Siori before the Yuri comes over. Rather than asking, I simply tell her I'm coming over, much like we've done in the past. Once I reach Siori's house, I knocked on the door before entering it myself. Again, we used to play it so often that we made it a habit to simply entering each other's houses like we were family. The house is quiet. Sayori so isn't anywhere on the first floor, so I assume she's up in her room. It's sort of strange of her not to run down and greet me. I head up to the bedroom where I find where I finally find her. Sayori? Hi, Harwell. I sit down in the, her room. Sayori's face forces a smile, but it's easy to tell me she, that she's different. <sighs> now, I know we're just probably heading, but please, everybody. This is good. for anyone who is a little bit sensitive to this. Feel free to for close out the video for now, and then we can come over and skip to another part where we, all this is over, or skip further onto the video. So there will be probably some talk, which I think I know what's going to happen, but because I know this is a serious topic, and I really think people should like I don't want people to be stressed out about it. So. Please, if you do not feel comfortable, feel free to skip ahead of the video, and then we'll get to the to where we will go with uh, Yuri. So without further ado, let's see what, what Siori wants with us. Or at least see what we can find, figure out more about Siori. Siori forces him- yeah, okay, we already said that. There's a minute of silence between us. There's a moment of silence, right? Oh. Oh, shit! Oh, no! Okay, uh, okay! This, I need to hit, make sure I don't hit skip. This is, yeah, I just said there is a minute of silence between us. You haven't come over like this in a long time, have you? I guess you're right. It's been a long time. Not much has really changed, has it? So his room is, is the same as it always been. I also recognize the same stuffed animals and wall decorations she's had for years now. Hehe. <laughs> if you came over more often, it would have been such a mess. That's because I end up cleaning it, up, cleaning it for you. How come you suddenly want to come over today? Aren't you supposed to see Yuri today? Yeah, but wait, how'd you know that? So we already had le already left by the time we decided the last they decided that last meeting. Monica told me it's only natural for her to keep me informed about the festival preparations, right? Ah, that's true. What about you? Are you going to be helping Monica today? Of course, but I'm just helping her online. We didn't we didn't plan to meet up or anything. Ah, so it's just me and Yuri then. Yep. There's more silence between us. So Yuri stares in a random direction. Everything about her behavior is really uncharacteristic. I finally get to the point. I just wanted to see how you were doing. After you left on Friday. When something's wrong, you can't hide it from me. 
I know you too well. So? Sari smiles, shaking her head. That's no good. That's no good, Haruo. Eh? Why can't it just be like it always been? This is all my fault. If I didn't get so weak and accidentally express my feelings, if I didn't make that stupid mistake, then you would have been worried about me all at all. You wouldn't have come here. You wouldn't have been... You would. You wouldn't have even been thinking about me right now. But this is just my punishment, isn't it? I'm getting punished for, for being so selfish. I think that's why the world decided to have you come over today. She just wants to torture me. <laughs> Sayori! I grab Sayori by her shoulders. What on earth are you saying? Are you listening to yourself right now? I know something happened to you. There's no expl other explanation for you to be like this. So tell me already. Until I know, I won't be able to stop thinking about it. Eh. <laughs> Sayori gives me an empty smile. You really put me in a trap, Harlow. But... You're wrong. Nothing happened to me. I've always been like this. You've just been seeing it for the first time. Seeing what? What are you talking about, Sayori? <laughs> You're really just gonna make me say it, aren't you, Harlow? I guess I have no choice this time. The thing is... I've had really bad depression in my whole life. Did you did you know that? Why do you think I'm always late to school every day? Because most days I can't even find a reason to get out of bed. What is there to do anything when I fully know how worthless I am? Why go to school? Why eat? Why make friends? Why make other people put their energy and caring to waste by having them spend it on me? That's what it feels like. And that's what I just want to make everyone happy. Without anyone worrying about me. Dot dot dot. I'm in shock. I can't even figure out how to respond. How is it possible to that Sayori kept this from me from this entire time that I've known her? Is she really like, wanted wanted? Did she really want me so badly for me that just to not think about her? Why Sayori? Eh? Why is it that you never told me about this? It almost feels like I've been betrayed as your close friend. Because if I knew, I would have done everything I could to support you. Even if I only, if only there's only so much I can that I can, what well, I could do, I would have tried a little bit harder to make every every day a little better for you. That's why I'm your friend. All you have to do is what was tell me. You don't have to understand at all, Harwell. Why do you think I tell, didn't tell you? Because if I told you, then you wouldn't have to waste effort about caring me instead of doing important things. I don't want to be cared about. It's bittersweet when people try to care about me. It feels nice sometimes. But it also feels like a bat being swung against my head. <sighs> Sorry, I just needed a moment there because... This stuff hurt. This stuff is really... Hurt. Like, I met people who have had such, such bad depression. And... I just didn't know what it would fully feel like. I mean, I did have at one point, I did felt like minorly depressed about something, but... So anyways, I never... I felt like I never reached a point where I thought, like, I was just worthless, but there was a time when I did felt, like, negativity about this, but this is what... This was treatable. I was able to push forward and move on with the issue that I had, and that's why this seems somewhat relatable, but... I never had depression as bad as the Sayori has here, and I've seen people have gone to that low. Is it, but because I was able to have friends and connect with people, people were able to help me push forward into that, and that's why I'm still myself as it today. So I just can't believe this is what it would feel like for people who who had it much worse than I did. <laughs> That's why I want so badly for you to make friends with everyone else. Helping everyone to be happy together is the best thing for me. But then I discovered something else too. Hold on, I'm just... Sorry about that, everybody. Seeing you make friends and I can get closer with everyone in the club. It feels like a spirit going through my heart. So that's why. That's why I decided the world just wants to torture me. Every path leads to nothing but hurt. <laughs> You're right that I don't understand. I don't understand your feelings at all, Sayuri. But I don't need to understand. Whatever it takes me to help you stop hurting, that's what I'll do. No, Haro. There's nothing. Nothing at all. 
The only thing that could help help this is everything that could be oh could be like this. Everything could be like it always was. But I was selfish. I finally showed you what a horrible person I am. Here's shrieked down to Sawyer's face. I made you join the literature club because I was selfish. And I was punished in my, by my heart hurting you in a way that I couldn't understand. And now you came here and I made you hurt too. I'm just weak and selfish. That's all I am. That's why I'm going to accept these punishments. Because I deserve every last one. And without thinking, I once again grabbed Sayori's shoulders. This time I poured her into a tight embrace. Ah! Har Haruo! Sayori. I don't care if you feel selfish. I'm really happy that you convinced me to join the club. Seeing you every day makes it worthwhile enough. If I had to make friends with everyone else, then that's just a bonus. But please, never underestimate how much I care about you. I wouldn't have done it, have it any other way. Alright, well. Sarah isn't hugging me back. Despite my arms being wrapped around her, Sarah's arms remain at her sides. She starts sobbing next to my ear. That's my phone. It just rung up and had a text message. I am sorry about that. No. Don't do this to me. Please, don't do this. Harwo. I... Sarah barely managed to speak with her between her sobs. I don't even know what I'm... I don't know if I'm doing the right thing. But all I want is to her to know is that I care. If you have it in you, in you to call yourself selfish, then you have it to let me selfish too. Let me be selfish too. No matter what it takes, I'll figure out what it needs to change. I'll make these feelings go away. And if there's anything that you need me to do, then you better tell me. I'll get mad if you don't. That's not... not I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Gently, Sayori finally puts her arms around me in return. I don't know anything. It's all really scary. I don't underestimate my I don't understand any of my feelings, Harwell. The only time when I'm not feeling nothing is when I'm feeling pain. But your hugs are so warm. And that's really scary too. Sayori lets me go. As she does, I let her go as well. The festival is tomorrow. Yeah. It's going to be fun, right? Yeah. How would you like me to spend it all with you? Uh, um. Uh, it's what I want. I promise. I... I think that would be nice then. Yeah? So he wipes her eyes. If I could spend the whole day here, I would. Of all days, this has to be the one where I have other plans. Maybe I should cancel... No, 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 don't! Please don't! If you did that, then I wouldn't really wouldn't forgive you. But... Don't miss time for you to meet me in my house. At the very least, do you want me? Do you want to come along and help out? It would be fun. To my surprise, Sayori shakes her head. I am sorry. I don't know if that would be very good for me today. You understand, right? Ah, it's kind of hard for me to fully understand. But I'm trying my hardest. It's okay. Don't worry about me too much. Don't worry about it. I'll see you tomorrow. Okay. All right. I look forward to it. I said goodbye to Sayori and exit her house. On the way home, I find myself still feeling uneasy. But it's hard for me to keep thinking about it when Yuri's about to come over too. I think Sayori's right. I shouldn't be worrying too much, and we're definitely going to have a great time tomorrow. I should just focus on what's ahead of me. As I approach my house, I see something that makes me feel a, a moment of panic. Yuri! Ah! Thank goodness! You're a little early! Wait, 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 oh, that was horrible. You're a little early! I'm sorry I wasn't home yet! Were you waiting for that for a long time? No, I just got here. But I just started getting really nervous when nobody answered the doorbell. You always could have texted me. If I had known, I would have been I re reassured you and hurried more on my way home. Ah, I suppose that's true. I didn't think of that, for some reason. It should be more common sense to do that, but I decided to ignore it. Anyways, let's go inside. I see you brought a lot of stuff with you today. That's right. And what did you manage to find everything? And did you manage to find everything I asked you to buy as well? Yeah, pretty much. At least I hope to get ev I got everything right. I'm sure it will be fine. I take her to my room. The first thing that she, the first thing she does is glance around curio curiously, which makes me feel anxious. It's so clean. <laughs> I cleaned it before you came over, so that's very considerate of you. Oh, um, ah, no. I would be really embarrassed for my room to be a mess while you were here. Hmm. Well, I do enjoy cleaning. I would have gladly helped you, helped you clean. Ah! That would be even more embarrassing. Wait, don't look in there. I snatched your wrist when... What? Which was in the process of opening a desk order of mine. Oh! What did you have hiding in there, Haruo? 
Naughty, naughty, no, no, no. No, no, no. Ah, I'm sorry. I was just thinking for... I wasn't thinking for some reason. I was just spacing out. It's fine, it's fine. I let go of Yuri's wrist. She puts on her... She puts both her hands firmly in her lap, as if making sure she's keeping track of them. So, um... Should we get started? Ah, uh, yes. Yeah, I have... Um, I have a few things planned out, planned that you you can help with. Decorations and other atmospheric enhancements. Atmospheric enhancements. You, you know, mood lighting, aromatherapy candles. Oh wow! I didn't know you planned on taking it that far. Of course, I want to help take our guests to a faraway place. Although many many will stop just by curio just by, many will stop by just out of curiosity, and for cupcakes I guess. I determined. I'm determined to provide an experience that will leave them wanting more. That's great. It's easy for you to forget that you're a pretty intense person. Ah, intense? I guess that's the best way to put it. Is that a bad thing? No, not at all. It's something that I like about you, actually. I is that so? That makes you feel relieved and kind of happy. Yeah, no need, yeah, no need to be an so anxious. You can relax a little. Relax. I brought some things for relaxation. I was going to use them there in the po poetry event. Oh yeah? Like what? Let's see. Yuri rummages through her bag. She pulls out a few candles and a wooden cylinder shaped object. I did something, some shopping on the way here, so I happened to have these in my bag. I plan to cover the windows in black paper and use the candles to light the room. I think that will be a amazing, don't you? Yeah, that would be really neat. What's that wooden thing now? Oh, this? It's a diffuser for essential oils. How familiar, how familiar you are. Uh, the, the, here we go, first mistake. All right. How familiar are you with the aromatherapy? Not familiar at all. Ah, is that so? It's one of my favorite contributors to a positive atmosphere. Depending on the oils or herbs you chose, you can change the mood of the air itself. You can even feel per permanent through your body. Relaxation, positive energy, romance, reflection. Wait. Relaxation, positive energy, romance, reflection. It's almost like magic. Yuri takes the cylinder and pushes a switch on pushes the switch on the bottom. In just a moment, a thin way a thin ray of vapor begins to spout through a small hole on the top. Wow, that smells wonderful. What I'm mixing up my voices with uh, Yuri and Haro. What kind of mood is that one for? This is a jasmine. This is a jasmine essential oil. This is a little sweet, sweet and flowery, right? Yeah, that's a good way to describe it. I chose jasmine for the event because it provides f more than relaxation. Jasmine enhances your emotions and f helps you feel them flow through your body. You feel warmer and your heart pounds more, more heavily. Don't you think that it would be perfect for sharing our poems? It does sound suitable, but you seem to know a lot about this, so I trust your opinion with anything. Yuri smiles gently, clearly enjoying herself. She reaches into her bag and pulls out several spools of thin ribbon. What are those for? Well, did you purchase the origami paper that I asked you to get? Yeah, I have it over here. We won't be using the paper for folding origami. What I'd like to do is write a different word for on each paper. We need about a hundred of them. Oh yeah? What would those what would what will those be used for? Well I'm gonna cut pieces of ribbon to hang from the doorway of the classroom. Then we can fasten the paper onto the ribbons to create a doorway curtain. Wouldn't that be beautiful? It would catch the eye of the, it would catch the eye of the pet of those passing by the room. It may attract some to peek inside. That's really creative. I had no idea you were so good at this, Yuri. Is that so? Well, I suppose I get, a l I do get a little intense, as you put it. Ooh, -hoo. Yuri giggles with red cheeks. Is it just me, or is, it sh is she more relaxed when it is just the two of us? Or maybe it's the excitement she feels from sharing something that she enjoys. Here's a marker, Haro. You can write any characters you want. I'll help you once you. F I'll help you once you I finish cutting the ribbons. Ah, all right. Sitting on a floor together, the two of us get to work. I carefully draw a different character on each paper, doing my best to manage my bad handwriting. Yuri unravels a long strand of ribbon to des to her desired length. Then she reaches into her bag once more and pulls out a pocket knife. I didn't mean to hit that. Eh? The knife is strangely beautiful. The silver handle has an has an intricate intri intricate pattern of waves etched to it into it. 
The blade itself is gently tinted blue. That's no ordinary pocket knife. It looks really fancy. Ah, well. Embarrassed, Yuri looks away. What is it? You're going to think it's weird. Yuri, whatever it is, I have no reason to judge. To each their own, you know? If you promise you, wouldn't, you won't be weirded out. She likes knives, huh? I mean... I met and met people who have worse or, like, hobbies. So, trust me, and I think I have even worse hobbies than that, like that. So, I totally don't understand what people, like, if people like about something, I'm totally fine and not about what they like and everything. So, it's just like, um, I'm just saying, like, if they, if she likes knives, that's not a big issue. Like, we, there's a lot of people out there who have either somewhere in that zone of weird things that they like or something even f different. So it's no need to be ashamed. You're just, you're just being yourself. That's what makes you. Yeah, I promise. All right. The thing is, I'm kind of into knives. Called it. They're just so pretty. I can't help it. I don't know what it is. The combination of craftsmanship and the feeling of danger, maybe. Ooh, what I'm saying. Please don't think I'm weird for this. <laughs> you're laughing. You're laughing at me. No, I'm laughing. I'm not laughing at you. It's just funny how you're nervous you get about you got about sharing. It's well an inter interesting thing to be into, I guess. But I think it kind of suits you. Suits me. Yeah, it's kind of intense. <laughs> Besides, it's a really cool looking knife. I can't deny that. It is, isn't it? It is, isn't it? Yuri relaxes her expression once again. Would you like to hold it? Would you like to hold it? Sure, I'll check it out. Yuri carefully hands me the knife with the handle facing me. I take it and turn it. I take it and turn it around in my hands. It feels heavy and extremely solid. Where do you even get a knife like this? Curious of its sharpness, I feel the point of the of the. F I feel the point of the knife with my index finger. First off, common sense. If it's a very fancy knife, it's gonna be sharp. And that's in knives. Knives in general, you don't want to poke you, your index finger with the knife. That's bad. Why you do that? I was just dying for that to happen. Like, why is my character so stupid? <laughs> oh god. Ow! Horrible. Why did you do that? I didn't expect it to be that sharp. I barely touched it at all. It's my fault. I should have warned you. This knife is extremely sharp. It can cut through skin like it's paper. Oh no. A small drop of blood trickles down my side of my in on my finger. Yuri takes my hand and gives it gives the wound a closer look. Ah, she stares at it no with it and noticeably fidgets. If you squint, if you're squeamish, I'll wash it off now. Ah, without wor worry, wait, without warning, Yuri puts my finger in her mouth and licks the wound. Whoa, jeez. I mean, mm, yeah, bye, yeah, bye. That's what I'm thinking about right now. That, that that's lewd. That lewd. Anyways, I <laughs> oh no, you're gonna have to describe it. I feel her tongue curl around my finger. Startled, I in intent instinctively pulled my hand back. Oh, 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 please forgive me. I wasn't thinking. I. Yuri lowers her hand, head, her face burning up. Yuri, that's the that's the most ever embarrassing thing I ever done. How could I do something like that? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Ah. Sure, it was a little weird, but it took me by surprise. But I guess you just wanted was trying to help, right? You're, I think you're over overreacting a little. Ooh. She, she doesn't lift her head. What if she doesn't recover from this in the re for the rest from the for the rest of the afternoon? All right, you know what? This might be a stupid thing to do, but I'll do it anyway. I take Yuri's hand and lick her index finger in return. Horrible! Did you really just do that? Now we're even. Yuri just looks at me, like I did something wrong. <laughs> I knew that would be a bad idea. It's not for the sweet aroma of jasmine oil, the oil- the air would be extremely heavy right now. You're so sweet- you're so weird, Haruo. Yuri giggles shyly. Eh? Yuri calling me weird? Calling me weird? I have no response to that. Where do you keep your bandages? Ah. I don't think I need one, actually. It was a tiny cut. Look, it already stopped bleeding. I see. That's relieving. The tension in is quickly lifted. 
We resume our respective activities. I watched Yuri's knife cut through the ribbon, and it's like nothing like but air. Wait, wait, did I read that correctly? Oh, wait, hold on. I watched Yuri's knife cut through the ribbon like it's nothing but air. Meanwhile, I continue to make progress on the paper. Okay. After we finished attaching the paper to the ribbons, we laid them down all, all side by side. It looks better than I expected, and will be very effective at, as a door curtain. It looks great! Good, good thing coming up with this, Yuri. Ah, thanks. It's just something I saw on a line, really. Are you ready to move on to the next task? Yeah, let's do it. What do you have in mind? I'd like to create a banner. That's why I asked you to buy the paint table, ta the paint tablets. Ah, oh, that's right. One of the items Yuri's asked me was to buy a kit of watercolored paint tablets. We'll need about six cups of water to put each of the tablets in. Do you mind fetching any of those for us? Of course not. Six cups of water. I'll be right back in a minute. Thank you very much. Oh, just a little bit of water is okay. And if you fill the cups too much, it will be too diluted. Yours, taking Yuri's advice, I decided to use a small plastic bathroom cups rather than fully sized glasses. I put them on a plate to catch any pain that dri drips, then bring it back to my room. Y Yuri? Yes? I come to see Yuri quickly unrolling her sleeve, putting a. Pulling it back over her arm. Oh no. Please tell. Oh. I understand she has a thing for knives, but. If, if she is what she, I think she has. She doesn't. That's a little bit dangerous. And you sh I understand that if you have that enjoy, like, a hobby of knives, but don't let it consume you, I guess you can say. Ah, oh, nothing. Your face is a little red. Is it too hot in here or anything? Aha. Uh -huh. No, not, that, not at all. There's nothing wrong, so let me mix the paint. Let's mix the paint. Yuri hurriedly dismisses me and takes it upon herself to unwrap the tablets, dropping them into cu their cups. So, I thought it would be—I thought we would do something simple that would be ver look very nice. I like to paint a gra gradient across the pattern, starting with the colors of a sun for sunrise, then daytime, then sunset, and nighttime. Once it dries, I'll write an inspiration quote across the banner. We can hang it on the wall be behind the podium at the front of the classroom. Ah, neat. What are you going to write? Well, it will be more fun to surprise you. Yuri smiles at me. If you say so. After throwing out the banner, Yuri and I kneel on the opposite side so we don't get in the way of each other. Yuri uses a brush and adds a few dots of different colors across the banner to serve as a color guide when we paint. This kind of reminds me of elementary school. Painting on a banner with watercolors, with watercolors feels a lot like our class projects we had back then. It's relaxing. Ah, I'm sorry if this feels too childish. No, I didn't mean it at all. It's kind of fun, you know? Yeah, it is fun. I'm glad you feel that way, too. Yuri stops painting for a moment, thinking to herself. For me, I don't need to go out and do crazy things to have fun. In fact, I usually don't even want to. I just like when I can spend time with one other person. Even if it's something simple like reading, it doesn't even matter if we don't talk much. I just having a friend next to me makes me feel thing makes things feel a little bit nicer. I mean, that's me usually, too, because, like, if you're n like, it sucks to be alone. At times, but when you have like a friend that's like wanting to do something fun with you, it gets like it's a lot. It's ten times more fun to just go out and do whatever you want to do, and it can make you can make a lot more stronger memories with that as well compared to what you're doing by yourself. That's why it's I like to be like I like to classify myself as an extrovert sometimes because I like to do some daring things here and there. But I don't. I made sure that I'm not like immature, but I'm much more. I guess you can say. Uh, so not sophisticated, but like, ma just mature, I guess. That will probably be the best word to put it. But yet, I can also have be a fun person to be around with, and that's what I try to do. I like to be like myself, and have fun. That's why that's my all-time goal. With just that, that's my that falls over my personal goals with YouTube is that I just want to make people laugh and enjoy, have a great time to spend time, just stop on by. Because my goal is that by the end of everything. I want people to leave this channel with a smile on their face every time they come through it. That's the goal I want to have by the end of everything. It's a lot. It's been a goal I've been having since when I started YouTube five years ago, but it is what it is. Just having a friend next to me makes me feel a little bit nicer. I think that's all it takes for me to be happy. 
Is that so? Even if Yuri and I are quite different, I can understand where she's coming from. I feel that way about things like anime and games where simply just sharing the experience with someone can make me happy. I think I feel the same way. That is true. As well. <laughs> I know I keep like bouncing off like to different tangents out in here, but when when it comes to like watching animes or, or um or any just wa well, watching anime in general, because um I remember my friend Loot. If you guys don't know, Loot's been my friend for like Call of Duty Zombies and now currently Dungeon Defenders in my Let's Play series. We um especially when we the the se second season of Quint when Quintessential Quintuplets came out, we both decided we devoted time to like where we would go on Discord and watch the episodes together, and we would just like talk back like, like oh my god, this can't believe this happened. Oh, can't believe Ichika did this, or can't believe Itz um Miku was able to was able to fool like this. Blah blah blah. Like it's kind of fun how to like socialize with any like enemies that you watch, and that's kind of fun. I feel like. If I was with any kind of group, I always like try to like share some of my favorite stuff here and there. But it's kind of hard to to show it when you don't know what other people stands on anime or manga. Well, I don't read manga, but I watch anime a lot. So, oh, I keep hitting the wrong button. Okay, let me put my finger right here. Yuri smiles gently. I knew you would understand. Yuri leans over the banner to grab an unused paintbrush. But I move at the same time, causing my head to bump into hers. Yeah! Sorry. Yuri re reels back, and I quickly lift my hands in surprise. Are you hurt? No, 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 I'm not hurt. It just startled me, that's all. I should have asked you to get it for me. It's not your fault. Ah, your face. There are droplets of paint on your face and neck. Is this something on my face? Yeah, I, ac I accidentally got paint on you. Sorry, it's totally my fault. I'll get a towel right away. I rush out and fetch a small towel, then I dump it with hot water. I return to my room and kneel back down in her front in front of her. Okay, this is like my kryptonite here because this art, like he right here, just looks very beautiful. It's very enchanting in a way. But I know that I heard many people don't like Yuri as herself, but in terms of like she, especially in this art, she looks very matured, sophisticated, and beautiful. It's kind of Enchanting, like I said, it's, it's also very cute and adorable too. So it's like my kryptonite. <laughs> Any this, this scene art like this. Here, I pat down your face and neck with the towel. Ah, is something wrong? It's just, it's hot. I just didn't expect it. So sorry, I didn't want to use cold water. Having finished, I've retracted my hand. So, oh, that looks adorable. But Yuri suddenly holds my wrist. Wait. Eh? Just for a little while longer. Oh, That's adorable. It feels really nice. Ah. I keep my hand still, hand still against Yuri's neck. She looks into my eyes. Okay, now that's just adorable. <laughs> that's just really deep. Like, it's getting really hot in here. Is it hot in here or is it just me? All right, jokes aside, she looks into my neck. It's an intense expression that I recognize from when she reads to her books. Almost as if she lost in a daze, enveloped by her own thoughts. She breathes gently, halfway through slightly parted lips. What is happening? Is the aroma of the jasmine oil giving me this dizzy feeling? Yuri's gentle fingers wrapped around my wrist, sen sending a tingling sensation through my arm, and suddenly, her face seems to be much closer to mine than it was just a moment ago. Ah. Yuri slowly pulls away. Sorry. I've been, I've been feeling a light, little lightheaded today. I didn't mean to space out. It's fine. It's fine. The, oh, the moment... Oh, no, shit! I keep hitting the wrong button! Okay, the moment is over as, as soon as, as it began. Yuri picks up her brush again. But her movement seems clumsier, like she's unable to focus. I remain silent, forced to ignore the event that has just tra transpired. I hesitantly... Re Hesitantly retrieve my own brush and continue following Yuri's example. That should do it. I finish filling the night sky with white dots that look like stars. Looking at the banner as a whole, it's very pretty and natural looking. I think I can call it out. I think I came out a little better than I expected. I'm really happy with the results. Yeah, me too. Are you going to add the lettering now? Ah, not yet. It needs to dry first. That's true, but it won't take that a while. Well. 
Perhaps it would be best to leave here. Then it, best to leave it here. Then you don't have to bring it. And then you have to bring it in the morning. I guess I can do the lettering in the classroom before the event starts. Is that okay? That's totally fine. Wonderful. In that case, I don't think there's anything more for us to do here. Phew. <laughs> you say like it's you're you say that like it's you're glad it's over. Was I wrong to assume that you were at least enjoying yourself a little bit? Oh no, it's not like it's not that. I'm just glad we managed to get everything done. I see. I am too. I was a little concerned about time. I need to start making dinner soon. Ah. So you don't have to have any time left? I was simply hoping we could have an extra time after re finishing the work. Well, <coughs> I'm dying. Da da da. You just think to herself. I think it would be too irresponsible of me to wait much longer. I am sorry. I was hoping that we would have more time as well. It's probably my fault. Sorry for being such a slow work. Wait, sorry for just being a such a. It's probably my fault. Okay. Sorry for just. For being such a slow worker. No, it's not your fault at all. And the important thing is that we got everything done, right? Yeah. So, I shouldn't be disappointed in or anything. Gathering her all her things, Shuri seems to look a little downcast. I understand why. It's not like she rarely will gets the opportunity to spend time with friends in a relaxed environment. But that doesn't mean this time is the la last time it can happen. Once Shuri packs up, I walk her out the front door. Thank you very much for having me today. No problem. I'm glad I was able to help. Just let me know if there's anything you want me to, to bring, need me to bring tomorrow. I will. Well then, Yuri fidgets. I guess I'll see you tomorrow. Well, wait. I kind of, of say that without thinking. About today. It's fine if we didn't have to use much as much time as we wanted, because we can do this again. Whenever you want, you can come over, or we can go out somewhere. Ah, and I forgot you don't like going out out much. Uh, you, I forgot, I can't read. Blah. <laughs> As I stumble over my words, Yuri simply just smiles. Yuri simply smiles bashfully. Anyway, you know what I'm trying to say here, so... You're very thoughtful, Haro. Yuri takes a step closer to me, and then briefly squeezes my hand. Oh! Oh! I like that about you. I kind of like that about you. This is getting intimate. Oh, oh boy! Well, how am I supposed to respond to that? I don't even get a chance as Yuri suddenly pulls back. S -s -s Yori. Eh? Ah. Hi, Harlow. Sayori. Just now we weren't... <laughs> it's okay, Haro. I just stopped by to say hi. Um, well, it's nice to see you. I'm sorry, but I'm already on my way... On my way to leave... On my... Uh, I'm sorry, but I'm already on my way... My way to leave. Aw, oh, Really? That's too bad. I'm sorry. But we'll all be together at the festival tomorrow, so... That's fine, right? So that's fine, right? Of course! So your beams. Yeah, so... I'll see you tomorrow. Clearly embarrassed, Yuri hurries off. So Yuri waves goodbye to her, after her. So, so Yuri, I thought you didn't want to come over today. <laughs> well... I tried to stay in my room, but imagination was just being really mean to me. So I had to come over here to see it for myself. See what? What are you talking about? You know, how much fun you're having with Yuri. And how close you got to her. It makes me really happy that you've made such good friends. That's all that matters to me. Tears start to fall down to her face. That's all that matters to me. Why am I feeling this way, Harmo? I'm supposed to be happy for you. Why does it feel like my heart is splitting in half? It hurts so much. Everything hurts so much. This would be so much better if I could just disappear. Sorry, don't say that. It's true, Haruo. If I wasn't here, then you wouldn't be able to have waste your sympathy on me. You wouldn't have to put up with me being selfish. Monica was right. Monica was right. I should just... Monica? Monica was right about what? Da da da. Sorry. What I said before is true. I'm not gonna let this continue. Caring about you like this is always, isn't the burden your mi isn't the burden your mind is making out to be. It's something that makes me really happy. It's something that I would, wouldn't trade for anything in, in anything else. So even if it makes an entire lifetime, I'm going to be on, by your side until you don't feel any more pain. But, but Sari so looks away. I put a hand on my, her shoulder to reassure her. I'm scared, Haro. I'm really scared. 
What are you scared of, Sayori? I'm scared of that. That I might like you more than you like me. Sayori. It's true, isn't it? I was weak to startle you like to like I was I was weak and started to like you so too much. I did this to myself. Horrible. I like you so much that I want to die. That's how I feel. Man, man. That's enough, Sayori. I don't want to hurt you anymore. I slid I slide down I slide my hand down Sayori's arm and squeeze her high end in my own. Do you remember how I always said I always know know what's best for you? Do you still believe me? Wordlessly, Sayori nods. Even if you don't understand at all, uh, if you don't understand all of your own feelings, I know what you need the most right now, and that's why I'm going to give it to you. Sayori. Oh, we gotta do a cliffhanger here, folks. We gotta do Natsuki's first before we go to this part. So, uh, let's uh, let's save it to. Right here. All right, I got to. All right, I'll be right back, everybody, because I'm going to move on to the next vid next part of the video. So we're gonna be in the next video. We will be going to Natsuki's side, or not when we're gonna be helping Natsuki out, and for the festival, and then we're gonna be trying to sort of like how to explain this and then after we get to get that finished we will continue what we want to want like what we want to say to Siori. and then yeah without further ado thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video Bye bye